Now here's an interesting quote for you. Pleasure in the job puts perfection in the work. What sort of forward-thinking person would be making a statement like that? Think of somebody who is a forward thinker, you know, within the world um, of work and all the rest of it, who might make a statement like that. Let's see if you can guess who it was. Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. <laughs> yeah, the great the business guru. <laughs> and on the personal reviews, she said, your performance was supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> So, any suggestions other than Mary Poppins and her umbrella? Donald Trump. Don Donald Trump? Yeah, that's a... Yes. I must have missed a bit where it says, pleasure in the job puts perfection in the work if you are building a wall. So, any other suggestions who this might be? Steve Jobs? Richard Branson, yeah, there's one more that normally comes up. Jack, well, yeah, yeah, it could be. Jack Welsh on a nice day. Um, okay, there you go. Now, you see, it's my perspective, actually, that what we as human beings want from our lives, from our work, our bosses, etc., has not changed in 2,500 years. We still want to be able to go to work, do a good job, be inspired, contribute to society, however you describe it. And I don't think that's ever going to change. You can talk about the digital world, you can talk about millennials, whatever. That is a basic human psychological need, and it will always be there. People say, Chris, leadership is complicated. I say, whoa, whoa, hang on, why is leadership complicated? We are an organisation, we need to do this. We have people who have needs and aspirations. What is the basic deal? You, the people, help us do these things and we help you meet your needs and aspirations. As I said to the leaders of the Chinese space program, this is not rocket science, which they found highly amusing through the translator, but still. Anyway, so the concept is simple. The concept is human. We need to accept that. So let's go back to this situation. I want you to remember that inspirational boss that changed your life at work and actually changed your life. And what I want you to do is I want you to write down on a piece of paper what that person did on a day-to-day -day basis that made them so special. I want you to write two or three things. What did that person do on a day-to-day -day basis that made them special? You've got 30 seconds. Get writing. Okay, for you fast writers, what I, want, I just want some of you in the audience just to call out one thing you've got on your piece of paper, because we haven't got time to flip chart it or go into any depth. So any suggestions from anybody, just call out. Involved. Involved you. Anybody else? Share their time. Share their time. Trust. 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 Listened. Recognize. Sorry? Recognize. Recognize you. Okay. Developed you. Forget to laugh. Didn't forget to laugh. What, when they did your performance appraisal? Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be fun. No, sorry, I'm cynical. Anybody else? Feedback. Sorry? Feedback. Feedback. Empowered. Sorry? Empowered. Empowered you, yes. Coaching. Coaching you, yeah, come on, keep going. Team. Team, teamwork. Support. Supported you. Challenge. Challenge you, yeah. Maybe a raise. Sorry? A raise. Gave you, gave you a raise. We'll look at the motivational effect of money in due course. So, okay, we haven't got, because I've got quite a short time, I haven't got time to go into any detail. But probably all of those suggestions that came out made sense to everybody else in the room, and nobody would disagree with them. Let me give you the answer, because I always ask leaders to tell me what made them give best performance. What did that best boss do? And you became motivated, you were inspired, because that best boss made you care. So what did everyone else say? This is what they said. Set realistic and challenging targets. Told me what was going on, developed my skills and career, let me get on with it, didn't interfere, praised and encouraged me, made me part of a successful team, respected me as a person, as a professional, backed me up when required, acted with integrity, led by example, listened to my ideas, showed they cared about me, didn't blame me for genuine mistakes, was fair and treated me decently, inspired me with enthusiasm, built trust and transparency. If I'd had more time, I promise you that you would have produced virtually all of those. 
every single group of leaders I speak to produces the same list because it goes back to Aristotle it is the core thing we want as a human being to give best performance now when you look at that list it's mind-blowingly simple when you look at that list they're color coded why are they color coded because when I'm working with groups of leaders and I have time to say to them tell me which of these things relates purely to the job which of these things relates to the emotional relationship between you and that boss and which of them is a bit of both the reality is that it's only one or two that ever relate only to the job there's five or six four five or six that relate to a bit of both but the vast majority of all the things that come out and the things that you mentioned relate to the emotional relationship between you and that boss and what is the really powerful thing is that those are exactly the same things for all the people who work for you and with you because they're human beings sometimes you may doubt it but they are so that simple list is what produces super performance and when you look at that list let me pose the question do any of those things on that list cost the organization money to deliver no do any of those things on that list require a complicated course no do any of the things on that list mean that you could not do them tomorrow no so we have a list of things that everyone can do tomorrow that cost no money and will deliver success.